Here we demonstrate the modeling and simulation of an end-to-end 802.11a OFDM system. Here we have data that's generated. We generate one packet. This is a transmitter. Let's go down. There's a hierarchical simulation. We can see the transmitter. And we model the channel with fading channels. In fact, we can change the delay spread. And we model the whole receiver for 802.11a, as you can see in this case. Here we implement a full acquisition, packet detection, carrier offset estimation, correction, channel estimation, and correction and equalization. Here we also track the pilots. We separate the data from the pilots. We decode the data going through the deinterleaver, depuncture, the turbine decoder, and the scrambler. We will go ahead and run the simulation. Here we show the pilots. We can shuffle through the plots. Here we show the pilots and also the constellation, the demodulated constellation, the constellation before pilot tracking. Also we show the estimated channel in this case. Here is the constellation before carrier offset estimation and correction and channel estimation and equalization. And this is the final decoded channel. We'll go ahead and delete all the plots and run the simulation again. Also notice that we compute the bit error rate per packet. In this case, we have zero errors. Here we set the channel delay spread to 5 nanoseconds, and we change the signal to noise ratio to 40 dB. Let's run the simulation. We get the pilots and the constellation. We can also go change the signal to noise ratio to 34 dB and run the simulation again. And we're able to successfully decode the packets. Here we change the signal noise ratio to 28 dB. Run the simulation. We are able to successfully decode the packets. As we can see over here. Bit error rate equals zero. Change the signal noise ratio to 24 dB and of course in this case, we get errors. In this case, out of 8,016 bits, 29 bits were an error. Here's the constellation. But we're still able to detect the packet and decode. In this simulation, we are going to run the simulation with 5 nanoseconds delay spread. This is a decoded packet. We'll go ahead and change the delay spread to 50 nanoseconds, run the simulation, and we see that the constellation shows the intersymbol interference increasing. We're still, still able to decode the packet correctly. In this part of the simulation, we'll show that we are actually using 100 kilohertz carrier offset between the transmitter and receiver. We'll run the simulation with carrier offset correction enabled. We can go ahead and disable carrier offset correction. Run the simulation again. And of course you see that the constellation is totally distorted. Let's go ahead and turn on carrier offset correction. Run the simulation again. And of course we get the correct decoded constellation and a zero bit error rate. Here, we'll go ahead and change the signal noise ratio from 26 to 40 dB and look at the constellation. As you can see, the constellation is pretty clear, clean. Let's go ahead and change the signal noise ratio back to 26. Run the simulation. You can see that the constellation includes the effects of the noise. We are still able to decode the packet with two errors in 8,000 bits. In this simulation, we have a packet length of about 1,000 bits. 
we have a signal noise ratio which is high we're going to run the simulation of course we get the constellation we also get zero errors in the decoded packet we can go ahead and change the signal noise ratio to 26 dB run the simulation again and as you can see even though the constellation is, is pretty messed up we can still get a zero packet error rate due to the Viterbi decoder